All right, December 23rd, 2023. I'm gonna call this one done. Uh, for those that have been following, it is my candle drippings. Uh, what I've done is uh, uh, filled in the, uh, the grooves with a uh, toothbrush and uh, some black army uh, boot polish. Uh, and then I put two coats of this uh, bullseye. Uh, it's a, a sanding sealer. Uh, Anyway, I just put two coats on that, and what it's done is it started to pull all my charcoal pieces uh, in, and I'm starting to get very dark. So I'm gonna stop here uh, after just two coats of that sealer. I really like the results, and this has given me some great ideas for future projects. Uh, just remember that this is a piece of green uh, uh, wood, a towering poplar that was in a fire pit. Uh, I spun it, I, I used my uh, uh, shop torch, a uh, little butane torch and uh, blackened it up uh, some boot polish and uh, two coats of this sanding sealer uh, that I used with a uh, applied with a old army uh, t-shirt so uh, kind of a good little project for me getting rid of some stuff uh, out of the shop that I don't really need anymore and uh, I like building stuff with stuff that I already have so uh, I'll uh, put this one uh, into use now uh, just showing the bottom what I'm doing with my stuff is uh, uh, I've labeled it Aki 2023 it's out of the fire pit it's towering poplar and what I've done is I've taken a 1967 penny uh, which I have a good collection of 1967 pennies because I'm a 1967 baby and uh, all my stuff is going to be finished with a, a coin and uh, I'm experimenting with learning how to polish up and sand uh, old pennies to make them somewhat shiny uh, but look uh, shiny but uh, without losing their detail so uh, fun little project for me I put about <coughs> I'd say uh, 15 to 20 hours into this and uh, I'm now going to put it in use I've got some old candles that are uh, sitting around my garage that I want to use up and uh, put this one to use it's called uh, candle drippings